Hello everyone, my name is Aykut Parlak. I am a lead Salesforce developer at Ready to Order. Today I will show how we can set up your SFTX environment in Visual Studio Code Space. Two part how to set a code space and how you can set up your SFTX environment there. So basically you can follow the links and click on the sign in if you have an account you can use if you don't have an account you can create one it's 12 months free let's create a create a code space okay so it is going to be initiated this is the online version of Visual Studio Code, which is called Cold Space. And so far you will see that all or most of the functionalities of Visual Studio Code is, is here you can find in the online version. My favorite is the terminal. Let's have a look. It is under the menu. You can see that there's a terminal there, new terminal. And the good part of the code space that some programs are pre-installed, for instance, npm. Let's check if it is there. Also, I think the git is there. Okay, very good. So it means that some useful programs are pre-installed. Okay, so let's create an SFTX client this environment. Before this let me create a, a text file to show which kind of commands are I am going to run. Okay, let's first we need to set up SFTX. We will install SFTX client with npm, then we will add Salesforce exten extension package to code space. can take a couple of 10 seconds, less than a minute. This is relative fast. Computer, I cannot say performance differences with a desktop version. One thing I will come later on, we will use Java Web Token uh, JSON Web Token Base Flow because we cannot use Web Base Flow with in code space. Okay, let's add the extension package. Okay, you can install Salesforce extension package. After installation, we need to restart or refresh the page. Okay, let's re refresh the page. Reload it. And now we have our SFTX client in code space. Now we need to relate with a dev, uh, dev hub or but before this let's create a SFTX project. So on the left side you can see that our project is created locally. And 
to see that right now we don't have any 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 org and let's try to use web webflow based authorization but as you see it doesn't respond so what we will going to do we will create a json web token base flow authorization for this we need to create a open ssl certification and server key we will use this this information in a connected app in java Bay, uh, json web token base authorization we need uh, we need a connected app and this certification will use in a connected app. Let's download it. Okay, this is my playground. Let's create a connected app. All the all the things I am doing here is documented are well, documented in the in the Salesforce page. So if you miss something else you can go just the documentation page and you can follow all the instruction there let me use my private email then enable out let's put the callback URL here I'll just copy and paste from here callback URL don't forget to check the things up digital signature and device flow and we need to add the certification that we have recently created it will take 10 minutes to 10 minutes to activate the connected app we need to manage it Okay, so our connected app is ready. I'm not sure if it is activated, but what we need, we need a consumer key in our command. So we need to go to connected app again and copy the consumer key there. So this is the command. Authentication and let me just show the list of the orgs that we don't have nothing there. Okay, no orgs can be found. Now we need to run, but before we run this, I think we need to update the username because my old username it should be the username in the playground. But these these are these are the details that sometimes we are forgetting and that's why the, our code doesn't work our command doesn't work so let's replace it okay let's run the command Okay, so it shows that the connected app is not active, so I will make a pause here and after 10 minutes I will continue the, the setting. Okay, now after 10 minutes, let's try it again. okay nice successfully authorized which is good and now we can check if our org is there okay it's there now the second second step to create a scratch org Of 10 seconds again. Our the scratch org is also created. Here you go. 
Okay, so let's test it. Let's create some class here and try to push in our scratcher. Let's first open the org, see if our org is there. We have the link there, let's open it. Let me also create a PEX class that we can verify our connection. Create a class and now let me push it to Scratcher. This SFTX command I'm not using normally like this, so sometimes I'm confusing about the codes because I have my own script which I put in a shell script. Let's check, probably force source push. Let's try it again once more. Now it is fine. Perfect. Let's verify that our code is here. Fix classes. Here you go, you can see that our classes is pushed to Scratch Art. Thank you guys that you have listened to me. I am happy that if you can also set it up in, in your code space. Mm -hmm.